Hello, uh, we're here in section 5.2 looking at the answers to number 19 through 28. Factor the following using the ax squared plus bx plus c where a equals 1. So this is where we just start with an x squared at the beginning and remember this is where we're able to go fast where we just take the things that times to c and add to b and put them in here. We'll also always start with the x and the x and then put those two numbers in there. So here we have a negative 24 that's our C, so we're going to have an X and an X. Let me see, things at times 24, 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. One of them has to be negative. So if we were to put the negatives over here and the positives over on this side, these add to a 23, those add to a 10, these add to a 5, and those add to a 2. So those are the ones. They stick right there. It adds to that guy right there. So we have x minus 4 and x plus 6. Good. On here we have 18. Number 20. We have 18. That's 1 and 18 that we could use. A 2 and a 9 or a 3 and a 6. And some of you are like, whoa, stop. 2 and 9. That adds to 11. So yep, x plus 2, x plus 9. It's correct. x squared minus 8x plus 15. So if we're over here with a plus 15, that could be a 1 and a 15. That could be a 3 and a 5. That's really all we get. Now, this is a negative 8. That's a little bit tougher because here we have a positive 15 we have to multiply to. So we have to make these both the same, but they add up to a negative 8. So this is x minus 3, x minus 5. Good. Number 22. Here we have a negative 20 that we're trying to times 2. That's 1 and 20, or a 2 and a 10. Or let me see, 3 doesn't go into it. 4 four does, 4 or 5 times. Now this is a negative 20. One of these has to be negative and one of them positive. If we tried the negatives over here, this would add to a positive 1. So, ooh, let's switch those. Positive 4 and a negative 5. Looks like it'll work. x plus 4, x minus 5. And it doesn't matter which one goes in which place in that case. Good deal. Next one, 23 x squared plus 16 x plus 63. Let's think what adds up to six or what times is to 63? One and 63. Uh, two doesn't go into it. Three will go into it 21 times. Um, four, no. Five, no. Six, seven. Oh, seven times nine. Yeah. Is that? Hey, there it is. Seven and nine add to 16. So we're at x plus seven x plus 9. There we go. All right, number 24. Uh, we've got a negative 60 that we're trying to times 2. So they're going to be opposite signs, whereas like these with the positives, they're the same sign. 1 and 60, 2 and 30, 3 and 20. Let me see, 4, 4 and 15, good. 5 and 12, um, 6 and 10. Ooh, these, if they were opposite signs, now remember, if they're opposite signs, it's like subtraction. Looks like a 6 and a 10 will work. If we have a negative 10 and a positive 6, that'll get it. So we have x plus 6, x minus 10. And you can try this by multiplying it out. You get x squared, and then you get a negative 10x, and then you get a positive 6x. And those two will add to the negative 4x, and then, of course, times to the negative 60. All right, number 25. A, what's that guy doing there? We're supposed to be using the one where we've just got a 1 right there. So we've got to change it. Um, well, let's see if we can factor that 3 out to begin with. 3, and we get x squared plus 9x plus 8. Okay, now we're back to normal. Okay, so we've got to multiply to 8 and add to 9. So we can do a 1 and an 8, or a 2 and a 4. Oh, there's our baby right there. Add the 1 and the 8. So this is going to be x plus 1. x plus 8 is what that breaks down into. And there's that 3 out in front. Good deal. Number 26. Ooh, we've got this negative 60. Again, let's just use this list right up here. We have x. Let me see. We've got to add to a negative 7. Um, so subtracting. That one gives us a 4. 15 and 4 would give us 11. But this guy right here, 5 and 12. If you have a negative 12 and a positive 5, we get x plus 5 and x minus 12. 
See if that really works. Does that add to a negative 7 and times to a negative 60? It does indeed. All right, number 27. Um, let me see, we've got a negative 27 over here, 1 and 27. Uh, 3 times 9 is 27. And this they've got to be opposites, so yeah, these are going to subtract to 6. If we have a plus 9 and a negative 3, good. Add to positive 6 there. x minus 3, x plus 9. And you could have had x plus 9, if you wanted, and x minus 3. That's okay. You could not have had x plus 3 and x minus 9. That would have added to the wrong thing. And number 28, the last one here. Oh, again, we've got something that's not 1. Let's see if we can factor that guy out. 7, x squared minus 1x minus 2. So we've got to find something that times is to a negative 2 and adds to negative 1. Well, 1 and 2, those are the only things that time to negative 2. Um, so we've got to have, let me see, they've got to be opposite signs, so a negative and a positive there would be a positive 1. So we're going to have to do this. x plus 1, x minus 2. And the 7 out in front, there we have it. Good.